Adobe Illustrator using the direct selection tool. So we are using this for our cartoon drawings. So I have a cartoon drawing here. I scanned it in. You can also upload a picture of your drawing. And I started outlining the objects, so the body parts, and I got to the eye and there were some things I wanted to show you. So I'm going to zoom in here. And if you look at the eye, I've got three different sections. I have the, um, oops, I have the eye itself, I have the iris, and I have the pupil. So there's a lot of lines overlapping here. If I go over here to my layers panel, remember you can find it by going to window and layers. Then I can go to image, which is the image I uploaded my drawing, and I can turn that off. And you can see how funky my eye is. So this is what I'm gonna show you how to fix today. So we are going to come over here. I've got these labels. So I've got right eye, right iris and right pupil. So you should be labeling your layers as well so they're easy to find. That's how I found image and I was able to turn it off. I'm going to go over here to the direct selection tool and I'm going to click on my right eye. I want to fix this here. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Um, I can select this anchor point and I can move it. But that's gonna make my eye, in order to do away with that awkward line, it's gonna make my eye bigger. And I don't want my eye to be bigger. So what I'm going to use is this handle here. And I'm going to swoop it in so it's more streamlined. You can move it any direction you want and it will go anywhere you need it to be. So I made that a little bit more streamline and then you can go over here and do the same thing here so I could bring this point in a lot and that even doesn't really help unless I hide it with the other layer so what I want to do to fix this point here is oops I'm gonna zoom out so you can see the full picture I'm gonna go up here to this handle and I am going to restructure this line so it comes out more and makes this corner more streamlined. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I want this to be more streamlined. I'm gonna see if this handle will help. Um, I don't think it does. So I'm gonna do Control Z to go back. Maybe this one here. Helps a little bit, made a little bit more streamlined, and maybe also if I bring it in. Okay, so now I've got, let's go ahead and make that one invisible. I've got these two lines here, that's really too thick for me. I really should move this other one down. So the pupil, I select that. I'm going to to go to select tool to select the pupil and I'm just gonna hit my oh man that is not what I wanted to happen I'm going to move it down a little bit so that that line down there isn't so thick all right and I also want to fix this line here so I'm gonna go back to my direct select tool and I'm going to move this handle a little bit and move this handle a little bit to kind of make that point disappear, which worked really well. All right, so let's turn the eye back on. Oh, there's a weird thing happening here. Why is that? Let's turn off the iris. That's this point here. That's this anchor point. Bring that in, turn the iris back on. So this is what you're gonna do. You're just gonna kind of play around with your lines make sure that they're all even make sure that they're all streamlined and you can already see this eye looks so much better than when we started it looks way better than this one so 
play around with your lines and make sure that they look smooth, that they look streamlined and professional. That's the magic of Illustrator. All right, guys, have a good day.